Alfreda's here and oh my god, it's so cold. <sighs> Freezing cold. No, it's not. This is really embarrassing. The last red carpet I did was outside. It's 30 degrees outside, so what am I wearing? You know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to do it. I've got on cashmere leggings, cashmere sweater, this, this. Guess what? It's inside. The red carpet for the 2012 BET Honors is inside. How come the camera guy knew? How come the camera guy's assistant knew? But I didn't know. What is this about? So you, he must have put you in the movie, obviously, because he's producing it. No, I'm just saying, you know her. Oh, that's... Where's my damn trumpet? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm a, the brother brought the sax on the red carpet. I started to bring my trumpet, but then it would have been awkward because we'd have been trying to outdo each other. Now, here you are asking me these on-the-spot questions. Yes, I am. Will Packer, your producer of Think Like a Man. What's up? And I'm so excited for... The screening is happening in L.A. What is it this way? It was last weekend, this weekend. I'm really excited about this film. What made you decide to produce this? You know what? Steve had the book. Everybody was buzzing about the book. I went, I read it, I called him, I talked to him, I said, can I make a movie about your book? He was like, no. I was like, Steve, please. He was like, absolutely not. So I had to go talk to him. I had to get a little bit of money. But once I got my money right and I had my vision right, Steve was very, very supportive. I don't know if you know, but I act. Do you really? Yeah. Do you act good, though? I mean, a lot of people I mean, act. can you? I can, yeah. Give me, give me, a, give me some, question. give me a Wait line. A I know Russ. Yeah. I know Russ makes a lot of movies. Yeah. He's actually a very talented filmmaker himself. Does Russ have you in his movies? Yes, he does. I'm swallowing a sword in one. Sure. That I'm kind a of movie, huh? You know what? That's interesting on the BET Honors red carpet. All right. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Any any favorites? Yeah. Um, my sister is a pilot. Uh, she's one of the few black female pilots, so I'm ecstatic about the Tuskegee Airmen. I brought her with me today so that she could be here as part of the celebration, honoring them. And, um, of course, I'm excited to see Kelly perform. You know, she's back from the U.K. here in American soil, so it's like performing for Mariah. I love Mariah's music. That's going to be amazing. Maya Angelou, like, uh, it, the list goes on. I mean, I'm going to be like this the whole show. Like, give me more. <laughs> like, how much inspiration can you get in one? It's just, this is such a great show to inspire so many people that, you know, you can do anything, you can be anything, and, you know, all your good work goes to a good place. Tuskegee Airman here. I'm so excited. I want your autograph. Well, I got my sharpie here right now. <laughs> Tell us why it's important to see Red Tails. Well, it's important to see Red Tails because the story of excellence, the story of black young men in combat over Europe, it's a story of overcoming those obstacles. It's a great story, and the action at or air is such that you feel you're right there with the Tuskegee Airmen. The yeah. culminating scene where the jet was shot down over Berlin was what I did. And March 24th, 1945. Oh my gosh, that just gave me goosebumps. That's so fantastic. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Okay, thank you for I want to shake your you. hand. Alfreda's here at the 2012 BET Honors, and we're on the red carpet. And I am getting so excited. I'm standing next to some real Tuskegee Airmen here, whom I've just interviewed. And I mean, I just heard like a tale of somebody, you know, shooting a plane down. This is amazing. It's such history. And I'm so glad that BET is honoring them. I, I hope that my kids, you know, will, will learn something from it because guess what they're not going to learn it in history class so you guys go support that movie but it is crazy here at the BET honors backstage red carpet and uh, let me see who I can get next you know what I have a son named TJ and okay. and everybody says your son looks like TJ Holmes and he's like yeah no oh my god how old is he he's 15 and he's handsome just like you and your mom Okay, yeah. What, what the hell just happened over I'm here? not even sure. She's like, yeah, you're, she looks like 22 years old. Right now, right? <laughs> so, okay, so you're, you're at BET now. Tell me how that's different for you. It's very because I get to be on this red carpet talking to you right now. And today is a Saturday, and I had to get up at the crack of dawn to go in and anchor a newscast. Uh, that's how it's different. Really, I'm excited. I'm super excited. All right, well, who are you excited to see tonight? Like, do you have any favorites, anything that you really can't wait to see? Okay. I'm, I'm partial. I know we got some legends in the house tonight, but Common's my dude. Common's the guy I've kept up. I've interviewed him some over the years, and we always stayed in touch and got to hang out with him last night as well. So I'm always excited to see him get uh, on stage. But this room tonight, this collection of talent and these honorees, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I've only been a part of the BET family for a few weeks. Already the best job I've ever had in my I have life. I tell you that when we were like, who is that? When we saw you, we were like, who is she? Who is she? And it's you. It's me. 
What are you? You look absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. So tell me who you're looking forward to seeing tonight. Actually, I am looking forward to celebrating everybody. I know that that seems like a pat answer, but you know you're judge and impartial. But I also think that it's particularly important that we celebrate Maya Angelou at this point in her life. Um, and I think that's appropriate that we do this tonight. Now tell me what you're wearing, because you just oh, like, oh, can we get this whole, this is... Like, what? This is Judge Hatch? Are you kidding me? This woman is a judge. I'm so excited to meet you. My uncle was under Secretary of Defense with you, Edwin Dorn. Sure, I know Ed Dorn very well, yeah. So tell me, so that was my way of name dropping and actually getting him over here. So now that he's here, who are you looking forward to seeing? Everybody, but my particular favorite tonight has got to be the Tuskegee Airmen. They did so much to make the way for me and for Ed uh, many, many years ago. So I'm anxious to see them. All the other artists I've I've known most of them over the years, uh, and I'm glad to see them being recognized in this way. I know you're an artist. Who do you want to see tonight at the BET Honors? I want to see everything that happens tonight because there's so many great performers. Um, Kelly Rowland, Common, and Anthony Hamilton. I mean, Stevie, I'm tributing him tonight, so I'm performing. And Aretha is singing. My God, I can't wait to hear that. So tell us what's new for you. What's coming up next? Definitely new music. I'm excited. I think that's definitely going to be my focus this year is, is putting out some great inspirational music. All right, so when you do that, you got to call the rest part morning show. Yes. And you come by, see us. We want to play it. it. I would love it. Love, love, love. I'm God will come in the studio. All right. All right. You heard, she said it, so I'll you already be said there. it. I'll be there. So who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? You have any faves? Man, well, you know, I'm excited because, like I said, um, people from all walks of life are being honored. You know, somebody like Beverly Kearney was such an inspirational story. Like, okay, she survived. She's made it. We can't be lazy. We have no excuse. Then you got somebody awesome like Mariah Carey, uh, Stevie Wonder. You know, I hope he's going to do, like, Overjoyed or Higher Ground. I'm going to act like I'm in church. I'm warning y'all now, just excuse me. I'm going to have a Whitney Houston moment like she did a, couple, a year or two ago here. <laughs> Alfred is here at the 2012 BET Honors Red Carpet. And can I just tell you that Kelly Rowland, yes, our Kelly Rowland, our Kelly Rowland, walked by here without stopping. Little Willow Smith, she gets on a pole and then she's just grown. She ran by her and didn't stop. I missed Aretha Franklin and her new man. She actually looks really good. Gosh, I just, I don't know. Let me see who's coming who's coming up next. I can't tell. Oh, Anthony Hamilton. Okay, we'll see if he'll stop. I am Luke James from New Orleans, and I sing. Oh, yeah. All right, so see, there's a great, I could not have introduced him better. So, But you're performing tonight. This is huge at the BET Honors. That's huge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's, it's amazing. This is out of this world. This is last minute. I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, Do you thank need you. a backup singer? Because I don't know if you, you just met me. I'm Alfredis from the Rose Park Morning Show. But I do, I mean, I sing, and a lot of people, you know, if you need a backup singer, I mean, I know I'm, I got the Uggs on, but... I, I, they have, you know, Ray Chu, he has some background singers, but I, I'm pretty sure there's another seat there for you. That's how you get on the radio. That's give, me, give me on the radio. I need to be on the radio. You always say the nicest things about BT. Let's part in the morning. So... Uh, well, Ross, how you doing? Good evening. Who you come with? He's right now. Russ couldn't get tickets to the show, so that's why he's not here. Because he didn't call me. You got my number. It has not changed since 1993. So Okay, so this is like your thing. This is you are Mr. BT. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? That's, you know, that's like asking which one of your children do you like to beat the most? Wait, no, that's not how that goes. No, that, no. no that's not how it goes. No, I, I'm, I mean, I think the Maya Angelou tribute is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got a surprise for you in the Mariah Carey tribute. Uh, Stevie Wonder has got, you know, he's got such a musical catalog. We couldn't do it with just one person. Um, and... Uh, there's a, you know what I'm really excited about? I'm excited about all that, but I'm, also exci I'm always excited about new talent. And we, Luke James is a young man that we have performing on the show tonight for his first national appearance. Just talk to him. Love him. So excited right. to see him perform. Right. And if you, I don't know if you heard the record or you've heard him, but he's a phenomenal performer. And I'm, you know, I'm a music lover, so I'm very excited to see what he's going to do tonight. Alfred is here backstage. Well, actually, I'm really on the red carpet for the BET Honors, the 2012 BET Honors. And I see Common. Oh, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask about the Drake beef. And, well, that is if he stops. And here comes Jesse Jackson. I really want to interview him, except he's not going to stop talking. And then I'm going to miss Common. What to do? And there's an attempt to undermine all that Dr. King stood for. Republicans in South Carolina, where the shot was fired at Fort Sumter to maintain states' rights, to maintain slavery. Who do you want to see tonight? Good news is, is he, well, see my Angelo. <laughs> and Stephen Wonder. And I, 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 they mean much to me because... 
They did so much to help make this day possible, so I appreciate them so much. We love you. Oh, thank you. I love you too. No, we really do. Like you're thank one. Of, you to me are one of those guys who just is. You're unbiased. I well, you might be a little biased. Maybe a little bit on the left, but I like that you speak for all people, and I love watching you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you to say that. Do you hear that a lot? Not enough. But you're so. You're Let me nice, say it again. Nice. Let me hear that again. I'm unbiased. I'm so nice, and you love me. Love you. I'm, I'm going to paraphrase. Amy, oh my God! Oh, you look so okay. This is like <laughs> you look wow. gorgeous. Okay, so so let's pan down and look at what Roxy's wearing, and then let's take a look at what I'm what I'm working with. You want to switch? Because you look gorgeous. Who are you wearing? Um, this is a private designer from the Webster in Miami. They let me hold on to it for a little bit. You look gorgeous. I am so proud of you. You are just do. I'm. Oh, oh. All right, so talk, talk. To, I know. So talk to me about who you are looking forward to seeing. I know you see these people all the time. So is it a big deal for you? I don't see Michelle Obama all the time. So I'm looking forward to seeing our first lady come and hold his hand. Looking forward to seeing tonight. I'm looking forward to the Maya Angelou um, tribute, which is done by Jill Scott, Willow, Willow Smith, um, Cicely Tyson, Queen Latifah. And the first lady, that's incredible. I mean, that's history right there. Should that's he come by the Westport Morning Show yeah, so we can play the whole to. thing? Yes. That would All right, be he said he would. Are you saying you're going to come by the Westport Morning no, Show? I, I will come by the Westport Morning Show. I, really? You look so gorgeous. I can't, I got to start with like the dress. Who? Who is it? Poochie. Of course it's Poochie. Poochie in the purse too. I might as well ask. Judith Lieber and the shoes are Brian Atwood. Okay, you look absolutely gorgeous, and I know you're going to change like 15 times, but who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Don't say everybody. You can't say everybody. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? I am a diehard Mariah Carey fan, a self-proclaimed lamb for Mimi. I love her. I live for Mimi. I love Because we it. belong together. I love it. You look gorgeous. Okay, you got to see her. I can't. You can wear white like that. Thank you. Wait, it looks just as good going. Oh, watch. At, what? What? Get him back there. Oh, watch. 